One of the things I've been wanting to do for a while now is replace this blue power panel. There's an upgrade to this now, but this tells us about like AC coming in, battery state, all that type of stuff. And you can see it like it's a nice little old blue screen and not a lot of functionality here. I'm gonna go ahead and rip this out today. I gotta remove this and then cut a larger hole and then we're gonna install the new one. Maintenance, sailing, and more. Are you ready to go for a ride? Let's do it. First, let's pop back seven weeks ago when I was morning sick in Key West. We're prepping for a sail north and we have a weather window approaching. Yeah, baby. You wanna flush that yumminess down? <laughs> Tonight is Supercross night. I always set up a movie screen. You know, this thing will become a big movie screen and a projector. This is the Optima projector. It's really nice, it's really small, which is great. I mean, seriously, that's it. And I just hook it up to the iPad with HDMI, and then it projects right there. I wonder if you're the first woman to have morning sickness on an Antares. Oh, probably because all I can think about is field trip. They have a lot of kids, but I think they had them all before they got on the boat. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hold up. Yeah. This is terrible. Okay, I feel gross. This is pregnant. Not much fun going on there. Now we're off to get some provisions for the trip north. This is about five minutes. Five minutes. Buy nice. me some pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Should have some groceries coming out. They did wheel it out to you. She has a light cart. She said it's fine. It's good. I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I believe her. The taxi driver was really cool. He knew some stuff. He knew where our stuff was because they weren't getting it. So we all just ran up there and got it together. And he helped us. It was really nice. He's a nice guy. What? Yeah. Well, 80 with tip. It was like 65. But I spent 600 on groceries. But I'll ask this two weeks. And we're off, sailing offshore. The things that we do to keep us busy at sea. I'm making a yo yo baby breakfast. <laughs> it's actually Starburst. It tastes like Skittles. What do you do to stay busy? I wash your crab pots and other boats. Your sunglasses match your shirt. I had somebody ask me about your sunglasses. Can you tell me about them? Yeah, they're uh, Oakley's. I love them. Yeah. I don't know. What brand? What is that? I, I got know. them custom made. I put them together. The yeah, I love that. Brains. I wear these when we go boating. This is my, it says Captain. Those ones say Captain. And yeah, then I have Gunny and I have Jeremiah. We're getting up the keys. We have a very short weather window like three or four days. What happens is you get this weather system come through, you get like a weather window for a couple days and then you get two or three, maybe more weeks of winds. You can't move, so take advantage of it and get up there as far as you can or get where you want to get. That's what we're doing. And we're gonna try to jump, big jumps, maybe do an overnight offshore and then before the weather switches on Monday or Tuesday, we're going to, today's Friday, we're going to jump inside and continue up the ICW. But we'd like to do as little of that as possible, so we're trying to get as far north offshore as we can. ICW is never fun. No, especially on a weekend. I appreciate the calm waters, the slow winds, even though they're oh well, they're at 60 degrees, but yeah, they're only four knots, so yeah. no big deal. But with the pregnancy, it's like I always feel seasick. I feel like if I could just live in a sports bra and like stretchy underwear. I'm in heaven, so this is like the perfect situation for I me. I feel the same way, I'm in heaven too. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. Is that one of those teeny bikinis? Yep, my teeny weeny bikinis. Much calmer in here. Actually, it wasn't a bad day at all. The water was beautiful, uh, but I enjoy when it- It was a little it... out there. Oh, not bad, but you know, having morning sickness, I'm sure. It's yeah. Felt more of it. The morning sickness is rough, but as the sun goes down, it's called the golden hour. I'm gonna go up there and catch a little bit of a tan. We're starting to come into the crab pots though. I see them. The sun is still a little high, but I didn't come up here earlier because it was rolly. Sometimes being up here makes me feel worse. I just wanna, I just wanna pop, pop, turn around, turn around, and, 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 and. I just wanna, I just wanna pop. Ready to vomit everywhere, I feel it. Um, is it almost 6.15? Six. So here it comes. Yeah. They reported that somebody with dirty blonde hair went missing, paddleboarded out of the reef, and they just said it's canceled. So that's good. It was a wrong or false report. So that means it's not. That'd be scary. 
scary to go missing out there five miles offshore. So I have 30 minutes to get dinner done. And even if I get it done, it's not gonna stay down. You get to anchor sick tonight. Oh my gosh, you get to anchor sick tonight. That sounds like a blast. It'll end. This is only temporary. I'm just gonna heat up some stuff from last night to make it easy. But it doesn't matter because it just comes right back up. We did a good push today. Yeah. We left at eight, got fuel off the fuel dock by nine. We'll anchor by six, probably seven. So that's 10 hours. So we average seven knots today. So we're going like 70 miles. He put a lot of planning into this for me. We haven't moved in six weeks because I've been so sick. And he's been looking for like the perfect calm weather window so I didn't have to be sick the entire way. So I appreciate it. Thank you for taking care of me. You're welcome, sweetie. I love you. I love you too. You take great care of me too. My first pregnancy was so much easier than this one, so far. Which is making me think this might be a little girl. We'll see. See the mess that we end up with? And it wasn't even that rough out today. I'm gonna knock out these dishes and get leftovers going. The boat work must continue though. So I do it before I get too uncomfortable. That includes doing crafts with Reese. Tell me what, what you're doing here. Take an egg, you put it in a cup, I'm gonna make a way, but we just had one. You put it on, you put the egg in, you try to wrap it around. You only have like three or four napkins and can't cover each side. And then you frill it down to the garbage bin of uh, Farber, but this is fine. Um, you frill it and saw which one's cracked. Mine cracked, but I didn't know, but made me sad. <laughs> Let's pick our least prettiest egg. Are you gonna wrap the paper towels around it first? Oh, yeah. Thank you for the wake. Here it comes. Hooray! There you go. Extra protection. I'm putting it in this baggie. Go ahead. I think it cracked. If it didn't crack, we're gonna we're gonna take some of the protection. I feel it. It's oh like, yeah. It cracked, I see it. No. Here's last night's dinner. These were chicken breasts. Cut them up, dice them. These are the roasted Brussels sprouts and potatoes from last night. I'll heat them up in a skillet. I made myself a nice little salad here. Mix it all up. I'm also making a little bit of balsamic glaze. All you do is take one cup of uh, balsamic vinegar and you can add two tablespoons of honey. I do like a raw organic honey or coconut sugar. I'll toss it all in there with the balsamic glaze and then we'll put it on wraps. Food is a perfect way to keep the crew happy while underway. Another day is coming to an end as we hop along the coast. There's a section in the ICW with, uh, around Key Largo that is very narrow. There's mangroves all around it. There's a few little like areas you go through, but there's one in particular that is very narrow and long and it winds. And uh, it's like notoriously dangerous because Boats will come flying through there and uh, like miss you by like, you know, right next to you at full speed. Whenever we go through there, we always send Reese down below just to have him like in the middle of the boat. And then uh, I try to hug the starboard side. But they come, through. we had last time, they came flying through. They're throwing like a two or three foot wake and I mean, it splashes up in your boat and everything. So hopefully we don't have any today, but we'll see if we're going into that channel right now. We do not like this section of the ICW. It's narrow, has blind corners, and nobody believes in slowing down to pass other boats for some reason. Let's see if we get any action today. Boats. They didn't even come that close. That worked out good. The other end, that first one is really narrow. That's where they got us last time. That part right there, I think, could cause accidents. This right here is pretty wide. Oh my Ridiculous. Goodness. That's so crazy. And at least he steered away from us. Usually, I mean, he had probably you know 15 feet. Usually, they like come right next to you. Yeah. These aren't too bad. We've had worse, that's for sure. It was time to get this Rockna anchor hooked up for the night. You ready? I'm ready. Alright, drop. Set anchor alarm.
50. All right, let's look up there. Okay, I'm hooking up the bridle. Jeremiah and I have been doing this for about eight years. We've got the teamwork part down pretty well. Communication is key with this stuff. The headsets we wear certainly help. Pulling up the slide for one last hoorah. Yeah. That was a good one, you bounced. <laughs> How do you like <laughs> We're going to miss this. As we head back for the baby's arrival, we took some time to enjoy Calypso and all the beauty that she carries us to. You getting in there? Yes. The wakes are insane. You got this. <sighs> beautiful water here. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah! The next morning we weighed anchor and head offshore for what turned out to be an epic day of sailing. This is what it's all about. day of sailing. Gorgeous. We've been sailing the entire way. I think we've been out here since 9 a.m. It's 5.30 now. So we've been sailing all day, um, making like between eight and nine knots. But I'm constantly seasick. So everything kind of falls on Jeremiah. I mean, I'm a mess. I'm falling apart. I was wearing clothes, but I slowly lose them throughout the day. Um, I try to lay out in the cockpit as much as I can to keep Jeremiah company, but when the sun starts coming in, I come down here. I do a lot of laying around. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay here and wait. We're almost to Daytona, so Probably about four hours away from pulling to the marina. That's the last leg of our trip. We got through the dreaded bridge that you hate. New Samarina. Hate that freaking bridge. But you hate that area. Like you hate boating through that area. Yeah, it's always a disaster. But today was good. Today was good. Um, beautiful weather. We'll get there like around dinner time. We're also finishing up school. 
for the year. year. He doesn't do like a typical school year, right? I know we have one subject left to finish, language arts. We're doing a little bit of reading. This is where the boat's going to be while we're on the RV having the little, the little one. one. California one. California one, yeah. We're debating where we should go to have the baby because our other kids are in California and it'd be nice to spend that time with them. And we want to do RVing out west. We got it on there. These little finishes, th finishing things on the screws. These are nice. This makes it look nice. It is all on. Check it out. The cool thing about this thing, right now we're inverting. We're at 97% power uh, battery. We're using 3.1 amps. I don't have the little wire that goes between this and the MPPT for the the solar. Uh, I'm gonna order that, and then you just plug it in between this and that, and then you'll have your solar stuff on here. And you can plug this between you, this and your battery monitor, the, the 712, I think it is. Um, I'm gonna get that wire too. And it's just simply just a wire that runs between them and you're good. But the coolest thing about this, the functionality is that it, you can do it through Wi-Fi and you can control all this stuff and monitor it from anywhere in the world, as long as you have Wi-Fi access. You have a couple different screens you can use. That's pretty. Let's see. Uh, you know, and then this right here would be the MPPT. This will be AC power and so on. Ready to go to the pool? Yeah. We'll get out of this huge mess that Dad's created. Yes. So he can clean, clean it, up. it up. It's a disaster it's a in big here. Mess to do that little thing. That was a huge mess to do that little wee square. Yeah, it's hard to breathe with all the woodworking. Oh, I was using a metal cutting. An aluminum blade on that saw. Oh my gosh. So it's like smoking and... Oh, I can hardly down. breathe. He's even destroyed my kitchen. We're getting a new stove top, so he had to rip this one up to measure it. It looks delicious. So we'll head to the pool and have some fun while he works. Coming up... It looks professional. We finally had it with our old cooktop. <laughs> We're going to convert this to propane. Jeremiah will get serious about some upgrades before we head out. The kitchen is destroyed. We got a no. bleeder! Where are you bleeding from? Then we're packing up. Wouldn't have been that heavy without the dead hooker in it. I think we're just about there. For a trip across the country aboard our motorhome, Naughty Sailors. You won't want to miss this adventure. Oh, yeah. So it was a grizzly bear. Oh my god. Crazy. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.